So once we have aligned our 16S sequences to the reference, filtered the alignment, and removed identical sequences, uh, we still need to pre-cluster the very similar sequences and remove chimeric sequences before proceeding to classification. So the idea with pre-clustering is that um, some sequences may differ just because there is a sequencing error. The Chipster tool pre-cluster sequences is based on the Matur tool pre-cluster seeks. This tool assumes that the more abundant sequences are more likely to generate errors, so it ranks the sequences in order of the abundance and then walks down the list looking for rarer sequences which differ only by a certain number of bases from the original sequence. This X is a parameter that we need to decide. And typically, we allow one mismatch for every 100 base of sequence. So then those sequences which differ only that much are merged. As an input, we need to give a FASTA file, an account file, and as output, we get this uh, FASTA file with only the pre-clustered uh, sequences and an updated count table and updated summary file. The next step then is removing chimeric sequences. And with chimeras here, we mean sequences which actually match the two reference sequences. So these are very likely to be sequencing errors. Here we use uh, as a reference the bacterial subset of the silver gold 16S reference set. You can also decide not to use any reference, in which case Motor will use the more abundant sequences in your data as the reference. Uh, one of the para parameters to replicate specifies if a chimera should be removed only from the sample where it was discovered or from all the samples. And this tool in Chipster is based on the Motor tools Chimera UChim and Chimera vSearch. Now the vSearch one is faster, so we recommend that you use that option. Again, as input, you give us the file and count table. And as output, you get then those uh, first file where the chimeras have been removed and an updated count table and summary file. 